three years after a brutal attack in Riverview. The man accused of killing his girlfriend and nine-year-old daughter is headed to trial. Jury selection began today for the trial of Ronnie O'Neill, who faces a possible death sentence. Once the trial opens, his 11-year-old son, who survived the attack that night, will face his father in court, who will be defending himself. Ten Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo explains why. Well, one key element in this trial is O'Neill will not have a lawyer. And when we're talking about death penalty cases here in Hillsborough County, that's not something we see often. But one Florida lawyer tells me it does happen, especially when we're talking about someone who's dealt with mental illness. I was outside. I heard screaming. I heard a what I think was a gunshot and I ran in the house. That was back in March of 2018 when Hillsborough investigators say Ronnie O'Neill shot his girlfriend, stabbed his nine year old daughter to death and also stabbed his eight year old son who survived. And over the edge, over the edge, something in his life put him way over the edge. The court system finding O'Neill was mentally incompetent for trial in 2018. Three years later, he's cleared to stand trial and he's choosing to represent himself. It's actually not that rare to see. Attorney James Smith tells me accused criminals do turn down lawyers in some cases. Mental illness, which usually motivates the commission of the offense, also leads them to believe they're competent enough to be able to represent themselves. So here in the state of Florida, would you say this is something you see when we're dealing with someone who had a mental illness? Absolutely, because that same lack of competence that leads to the commission of the offense usually leads to them believing that they have the ability to represent themselves. Something to remember is the death penalty is on the table. The charges O'Neill faces are serious, including murder and arson. In a case like this, lawyers don't recommend people turn down their right to an attorney. There are very few things more stressful than going through a criminal trial. Probably the only thing more stressful is representing yourself in a criminal trial. While O'Neill will not have a lawyer, the judge will likely have a public defender on standby just in case he decides he wants representation. Shannon, thank you. And taking a deeper dive, a Supreme Court case from 1975 established that under the Sixth Amendment, a defendant in a state criminal trial has an independent constitutional right of self-representation. The motion is named for the California case Ferretta and the defendant has to make the choice to defend himself without counsel voluntarily and intelligently. Now, you might recognize these three men, Charles Manson, Ted Bundy, and Adal Hussan. They were all defendants in a high-profile case and decided to represent themselves in court. Now, while some criminal defendants might decide to represent themselves, it's common in civil cases. According to the nonprofit Self-Represented Litigation Network, an estimated three out of five people go to court without a lawyer. 